What is the craziest thing your horniness made you do? When I was just past puberty I decided to make a flashlight out of my foam nerf football. The outside was soft and squishy but lo and behold the inside was rough. So when I tried it out it really hurt. I tried pouring water into it to make it softer but it was cold as duck so I just threw it away. Not sure if this counts as something horniness made me do. So much as it is what horniness made me allow to happen. I was 16. Dating a girl way out of my league. It was the end of our third date. It was like 11pm on a Saturday and her mom picked us up from the movie theater. And we had been making out all night, when we sit down in the back seat. She makes small talk with her mom for a minute, then claims to be sleepy, and lays her head on my lap. She proceeds to unzip my pants and uck my penis the entire car ride back, forcing me to make small talk with her mom. I came harder than ever before 2 minutes before we arrived at her house. I was terrified the entire time, but it was an experience I will never forget. On numerous occasions, for various reasons, I have used an electric toothbrush as both a vibrator and a dildo. The first time I tried it was also with my first partner, and to be perfectly candid, I used the electric toothbrush because I had heard of vibrators but never used one, or seen one in person, and I was too ashamed to bring up the use of sex toys with my partner. Somehow, buying sex toys for sexual activities was shameful and weird, but telling my partner to put new batteries in his sonic hair and brush my G-spot on high wasn't. Close second was the time I was so broke and I had thrown out my sex toys instead of mail them to my new address so I sculpted a dildo out of clay and baked it in the oven before ducking myself with it. I didn't have condoms or or anything either so I used food grade plastic wrap and coconut oil. The shaft was crooked and I made myself bleed. Shocked I didn't get a UT. You're welcome. I was maybe 11 or 12 and I'd recently discovered masturbation. Yet, I didn't have much concept of sex. So instead of thinking dirty thoughts, I'd masturbate while reading the back of my mom's shampoo bottles. A little bit later, this turned into masturbating to the instructional diagrams of a tampon box. Oh man, was I excited once I discovered porn. This was only two years ago, I was newly 18, which makes it worse. I had been vigorously sexting and video chatting this guy for a few months, and he had mentioned he lives in Pennsylvania my grandparents live in Pennsylvania and my parents and siblings were going to visit for a few weeks in the summer. I didn't want to go originally, but I tagged along on a 16 hour car ride there, and back, just for a chance to get with this guy. I then spent $200 on bus tickets and a hotel since he lived a few hours from my grandparents, and I devised an intricate lie to tell my parents. I told them I had an old friend who moved to Pennsylvania and who I wanted to visit, and I even went as far as to have one of my real friends lie to my parents for me and pretend I was visiting them. I spent 6 hours on and waiting for the bus and a total of 32 hours in the car as well as $200 just to get laid. That guy is now my boyfriend and our 2 year anniversary is coming up. When I was a sophomore in high school, I skipped school with my boyfriend at the time. We had recently lost our virginities to each other and couldn't stop going at it all the time. We went to his house, we ducked everywhere in that house we could think of, and around noon we needed a shower, in the middle of the shower. Something unexpected happens, a knock at the bathroom door. Who is it? My young boyfriend's mother. We finish our shower and honestly, since I ran naked into the bathroom, we only had a few pieces of clothing. He is afraid to get caught in an obviously compromising situation where we have obviously had sex because his mom is heavily religious and doesn't approve of dating at our age. What a joy it was to learn all of these things in a whisper trapped in a bathroom. So he decides to wear a towel and leave the bathroom in his obviously freshly showered state. Nothing fishy here. He just left school sick no big deal. He took a shower to feel better. This story takes a turn here. His mom was sick too. 
so his story was believed, but irrelevant because she needed the bathroom now. When my boyfriend left the bathroom, I climbed into the still wet tub, wrapped in a towel and the few clothes we had with us, a shirt, his boxers, we figured this was better than also nude, I'm freezing, the shower curtain is opaque and pulled shut to hide me, she bursts into the bathroom and I fear the worst, but alas, she stops at the toilet, I hear her plop on the toilet, hoping she just needs to pee, oh no, this story doesn't work like that, that woman unleashed her anus into the toilet like a landslide, the sound of it made me flinch, I can't fathom she escaped that without a serious amount of flashback. She sat on the toilet for s an excruciatingly long 25 minutes. The scent was intense. I kept still through it all, because the power of embarrassment is stronger than the fear of being caught, and at this point I was terrified of those results. Eventually, I escaped. Boyfriend apologized. Scary thing. Literally. I was 17 and in high school. My GF at the time was in college. Her parents were lightly racist but for some reason her mom liked me. Like, used to bake me Chex Mix and Rice crispy treats kind of like me. I had never met her dad and she made it clear that it probably wasn't a good idea. Even though she was grown, she lived with her parents and that it wasn't gonna fly. Because of this, she always had me over when he wasn't there. This was cool for the most part. One of this times, he came home unexpectedly and we were in her room. She was his baby, and he always said hi to her when he got home. When she realized he was home, she panicked and said holy hit hide. Immediately I realized I was not fitting in her closet, nor under the bed. Her bathroom wasn't attached so there was no escape. I thought for sure I was gonna have to fight an old white dude that night. In like 30 seconds I asked her to get in her underwear and put a towel around her and answer the door like that so that he wouldn't come in. I was going to just hide behind the door and try the Drax approach stay completely still and become invisible. He eventually knocked and I just nodded to her. Threw a black jacket over my head. Since the door has a crack when you open it at the hinges and slid behind the door as she opened it. He spoke to her for about 20 seconds although it felt like an eternity for me, and my heart was beating so hard I could hear feel it. I was sure he was going to find me and choke the living hit out of me. Eventually, he left, she closed the door, and we waited for him to go up to his room so I could leave. Well, that never came. For some reason he decided to stay up past midnight, he was watching a movie. Eventually, she just locked her door and we passed out. The next morning, her dad followed his routine where he'd grab his paper and read it on the toilet for like 45 minutes. During that opening, her mom actually came, woke me up, and snuck me out the house and dropped me off at school. Crisis averted. I put a kitchen knife handle up the back door to hit my prostate while I masturbated in the basement. I was 14. Now this basement has a closet sized bathroom in it, a room just big enough for a toilet and a drain pipe from upstairs. When I got down there I was alone. When I finished and turned around the door was closed. Someone was in there, the washer was going so I didn't hear anyone walk by. I can't imagine someone in my family walking by seeing a naked teen with a knife blade tail jerking it against the washing machine. Nobody ever said a word. I spent some time living with my in-laws. It's whatever. Life can knock sometimes. Anyhow, before a shower, I jacked it into one of my mother-in-law's sweaters. Realized what I had just done. So I took a shower, and then threw it away in the bathroom trash. Put the bathroom trash in the kitchen trash. My mother-in-law was in the kitchen. I said, I'll take these out, and took it all the way out to the curb. It was so obvious I was up to something, but I'm hoping she just thought I hit my pants. Tried masturbating with a turkey baster. Would not recommend it. I tried it with a candle. I freaked out when my cooch was green after. Never again. Tried a hairbrush handle and that ducked. After those two attempts I just stuck to rubbing my clit like the girls did in porn. 
that did the trick. I haven't changed my technique since.